Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're looking at stems and not necessarily the program itself but some of the issues I'm having. So as you can see, there's no way to actually activate it in in this thing. And one of the issues is, is that Akai's got so many components to when you make a purchase from the purchase to the activation process. It's almost like having too many hands in the cookie jar, if you will. Um, so... The issue that I'm having, keep in mind, you may not be having because I don't think Akai would release anything that would, if they knew that this was happening. Um, so there's something going on, and it could be even a misunderstanding on my part. But purchasing the stems, which you which you do from the actual Akai store, um, but the problem is, is they have this legacy of the In Music account, which also has a little bit of file download management content. And it also keeps track of your serial numbers and your purchases as well. Uh, but as you can see, you go in here, which is your preferences, and this sort of handles like the front end of your download management. The only issue is, is that the software center that you see does a little bit of that as well. Uh, it even has BFD player uh, in there, which is a free player. But it doesn't have the other FX expansion stuff. So there's probably a really good need to have, uh, even if this is a glitch in the firmware, there is probably a pretty good need to get the stuff streamlined so that when you make a purchase, it actually tells the other components of this process to actually move forward so that you can do it right the first time. And this issue uh, is not the first issue. I've had issues with redeeming the free plugin uh, for buying the NPC keys. They literally actually had to place that voucher into my account, like literally manually. Um, and so I sent an actual uh, ticket with screenshots, and I suspect, based on my previous experience, all they're going to do is send me an email first saying, make sure you log out and make sure you release all your plugins and start all over again, which I've already done you know, several times. I've actually even re-downloaded the firmware to, to update it. And so while this may be very isolated, very well may be an isolated issue, just know that it actually exists. Um, so leave any questions or comments. Until next time, peace out.